the bloodhound was the first dog whose sniffing evidence was admissible in court. In fact, this nose is so powerful, it dragged a bloodhound 135 miles across the state of Kansas, successfully tracking a scent. Anybody that's ever kissed a bloodhound on the nose knows what a beautiful nose is all about. As one of the most famous bloodhounds, McGruff the crime dog can tell you there is no breed of dog that can compete with the bloodhound's sense of smell. The bloodhounds are unrivaled in their sense of smell. They can smell a trail over 300 hours old. That's 12 days. You better keep a leash on them at all times because if they catch a scent, they're done. You can't stop them. Their distinct look and sound is easily identifiable with a unique howl that can be heard for miles. And those long ears and droopy jowls, you'll never mistake this dog for any other. In fact, Droopy pretty much sums it up from their saggy skin to their hanging eyes to their long swinging slobber. They drool and they'll shake their head and you have a big lava spit going across the room. They were originally the dogs of monasteries in Belgium and were famed for their pure blood. In fact, that's where their name comes from, bloodhound, meaning hound of true blood not because they can sniff a trail of blood, but they can do that too. We did such a good job of breeding bloodhounds um, to have such a strong ability to scent that it's no surprise that when the dog does pick up a scent, they have a harder time listening or hearing you calling to them. Tommy. Most dogs are led by humans. Bloodhounds tell humans where to go. Their basic anatomy is made for scenting. As air rushes through the nasal cavity, tiny scent particles are lodged in the nose mucus. From here, the scent receptors go to work and send the info to the olfactory bulb in the brain. It is said that while the human's olfactory sensor is about the size of a postage stamp, the bloodhound's is the size of a handkerchief. But the nose does not do it alone. Their pendulum-like ears act like sweepers, carrying up scents from the ground into the nose. And to assist even further, the various wrinkles on a bloodhound are so important to its design that they have their own names, from the generous lips that hang below each nostril to the flues, which are a continuation of the lips closer to the ear, all the way down to the dewlap, those funny folds around the neck. Lastly, you cannot ignore those bloodhound eyes. Incredibly, when the bloodhound's nose is to the ground, the skin around the eyes falls forward, creating blinders. This keeps the dog more focused on the ground in front of him. Bloodhounds are just plain cool dogs, there's no doubt about it, but not exactly the perfect apartment dogs. Well, this is a dog that loves to use its nose and loves to get out into those wide open spaces. Because they're so active and will go anywhere, they need to be bathed regularly and their ears are an issue. Their ears are so long that they'll get in their food and they get really, really dirty. So you probably have to clean their ears every day. Like most big dogs, they have a propensity to bloat, which may be avoided by using an elevated feeding bowl. To minimize bloat, you want to feed your dog in two separate meals. Training with these pups can be a big deal if you want them to be Sherlock Holmes. If you're just looking for a slobbery, happy pet, they're a lovable, snuggly family dog. Just don't leave smaller kids in charge because the bloodhound will overpower them without knowing it. Hurry up, I can't hold him for long. So, the bloodhound. Always keep penned in or on a leash, and be sure not to overfeed them. While they need their ears cleaned every day, they make good, slobbery, cuddly pets. Just be sure to put in the training time, or that family dog will turn into stubborn dog. Bloodhounds obviously know how to work, but they also know how to play. And as long as you give them a mission with their nose, they're happy pets. Where's it at? Where's it at? Ah. <laughs> Love you.